Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for today. We're talking about a new brand on this channel and by new, I don't mean new in life. I just mean new to this channel specifically. It's a brand I haven't talked about before. It's a brand I've been intrigued by for a really long time, specifically one product that interested me so much and I'm so excited I tried it out. So the brand I'm talking about is Hint Beauty. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Hint, it has a Y in it. Yeah, it's definitely Hint. Hint Beauty and you can find them at Ulta. That's where I've seen them mostly. I've seen them at Ulta. The concealer that they have was the product that interested me the most because it looked so full coverage. Like your lies, your secrets, your family secrets, your sins. Everything is going to be covered, hidden, protected. I'm also going to be talking about a couple other products from Hit Beauty. I'm so excited. So before this intro gets too long and y'all are like, girls, stop talking, get into the product review. That's what I'm going to do. So if you're excited for this video um, and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Liking really helps me know that you like the video or like the concept of the video. So please like and subscribe and let's jump in and talk about Hit Beauty. Okay, you guys. Hint you take. One of the products that I am so excited to talk about is a mascara. So a clean beauty mascara is something that is, I feel like a challenge sometimes because they can be a little bit too greasy. Greasy is not the right word. They just have a little bit too much of an oil base to them or they're too wet or, you know, they run. And I feel like there's like a perfect formula to kind of creating a clean beauty mascara that performs just like a conventional one. And Hit Beauty has one that's so freaking good. So this is their mascara right here. And first thing I wanna say about this, it smells like blueberries. If anyone has tried this, please let me know if you think it smells like blueberries. Blueberries. <laughs> and I, I love the smell of blueberries. It smells like, like a non weird yogurty smell of blueberries because I just sometimes when products have that like yogurty undertone I'm just like I can't handle it because I'm not a big fan of yogurt but it has a bl blueberry um, undertone smell I really like it so this is the brush it's just a traditional kind of brush um, I really like it so the formula I want to talk about it this mascara I really like I'm wearing so everything I'm actually talking about today I'm wearing on my face um this mascara is so good. I was actually shook because I am very picky when it comes to mascaras and I have certain expectations that it's gonna lift, curl, and you know, volumize, 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 volumize. We're gonna go with volumize. I feel like that's wrong, but you know what? My brain right now is not functioning and I cannot find the right tense of the word. So it really, does add a punch of volume to your lashes. It curls them and it holds a curl and it lengthens them. So, and what it does, unlike the other mascaras I've talked about, so I've talked about the Lily Lolo mascara and the Ilia mascara, this kind of creates more of a fluffy lash. And the formula on this is drier. That is really different from the other mascaras I've talked about on this channel. So the Lily Lolo mascara and the Ilia mascara, tend to be a little bit more of a wet formula. The Ilia is definitely the most wet and then the Lily Lolo kind of is like the in-between and then this is definitely a drier formula. So it gives you fluffier lashes and nothing clumps. Like, I don't know if you can see my lashes right now. I'm gonna look up, look up. I feel like you can't see them. They're really fluffy. They're really like just beautifully spread out. The one thing I will say about this is if you want just like really like what bam lashes, one coat is not gonna do you. Um, actually, I kind of feel like that with most mascaras. So that's not really like something unique to this. But for this, like to get this look, I did about two coats of mascara. And then like I go on the ends with a third coat just to kind of define them. Cause sometimes like you just gotta like, Mascara wands like never really get in the corner parts as well because I always focus on the middle and I am so happy with the result. I've been testing this for a while. It wears really nice on the bottom lashes, but like with most mascaras, just make sure you powder your under eye um, if you're wearing 
a more like creamy concealer underneath because again it just you might have some fallout or will run a little bit that's just one thing i'll say and i say that with a lot of mascaras i do feel like towards the end of the day your lashes droop ever so slightly but it's not super droopy um i'm so really happy at the end of the day when i'm wearing this i love this so much and if you're more a natural lash girl she is here for you because one coat of this looks so natural it curls it adds volume and it adds length but it doesn't look fake or obvious in a way i don't know how to explain it like the drier formula too doesn't clump so then it won't be like oh wow she's wearing a crap ton of mascara you don't have to worry about that with this it is so freaking good and i was really surprised and again it smells like blueberries so it's kind of like you're in charlie and the chocolate factory What's happening to your face? It's really good. It also doesn't dry out. I've been using this for a while now and I don't find that although it's a drier formula that it's going to dry out and I'm not gonna be able to use it until it expires. Like I feel like it'll be fine. It's really, really good. I'm a huge fan. And I, again, I wanna know, do you smell the blueberry in this? Or is it that I'm just having a stroke? Because the second I opened it for the first time, I was like, blueberries, like good God. It's a blueberry feel. I freaking love it. Okay, next. I want to talk actually about a skincare product because I really, first of all, I didn't know that Hint Beauty had skincare products and I am a huge, I don't know about you, I am a huge fan of vitamin C products and they have one. It's the vitamin C ester brightening serum. Now, you guys, I just want to show you the consistency of this because it's wild. It's this just like creamy consistency and when you blend it into your skin it sinks right in and so you apply it so this is what it'll look like it'll have like a little bit of like shine as it sinks in and then it sinks in so fast it wears beautifully under makeup it wears beautifully alone um you apply it before you apply just like your serums or like your other serums your um face creams your spf whatever it is apply it before that it plays beautifully with all products. So it plays really well with like oil products, um, powder products. It really sits so beautifully on the skin. It's also like so hydrating. So I feel like I like plump up because I've been so dehydrated lately. Like I literally am the most dehydrated human being. I don't know what is going on. This has hyaluronic acid in it, so I do feel like it just really plumps my skin up. My skin feels smoother. Any of those fine lines that you get as you get older, it really like almost smooths them out. I feel like the unevenness of my skin that I have had in like kind of the recent months of like wearing masks and just irritation around the nose and just like around here has really evened out. Um, I will say with vitamin C serums in general, patience is a virtue give it a little bit of time because you will see a difference it's your skin feels so soft so smooth when using this too it is so freaking nice i would love to know do you guys have you tried this will you try it okay and last but not least the product i was the most excited about and arguably am still the most excited about because concealer is life is the hint beauty concealer you guys stop drop and roll right now because this is on fire. Like, good God. This, holy mackerel. Okay, so let me tell you what color I wear. So this is the tan, the color 3.5 medium tan. I will say I could have gone up in color. However, during the winter, I do lose my, t like I'm not tan like at all. So this will be a really good winter color for me. Let me just show you, okay? I'm gonna just, so this is kind of the pigmentation. Are you joking me? Lies, secrets, sins, everything covered. Look at that. It's wild. So this, this is crazy. You will literally have this pot for you, the, your entire life. The, you, the smallest amount goes a long way like i literally use like i'll dip into it and then what i like to do is i like to apply it to my skin like this and kind of warm it up really warm it up and then i apply it with my finger 
it is wild i'm actually wearing it under my eyes right now so you can kind of see the color um it is so freaking good and it sh it like it layers really nicely but it also shears out nicely now if you're concerned with it being too pigmented or too heavy it doesn't sit on the skin heavy and it shears out nicely if you literally you can take as little or as much as you want warm it up on the back of your hand and apply it and you can shear it up out as much as you want but also the pigmentation is freaking crazy like i literally was shook it's so good it plays well with other products when you set it with powder it sets really nicely i literally can't believe how good this is it also has really nice ingredients in it which is really really nice um and it plays well with mascara so if you're wearing mascara on your bottom lashes it plays really well with that you don't really have to worry about it creating an issue with the mascara and kind of creating it to run or whatever it's so beautiful um i love this product like oh my god if you have really dark circles which i do this is an amazing product like this is really good coverage and if you just want like a little bit of coverage again you can create that with this it is so amazing and this is definitely out of all the products by far my favorite just because it is so it performs so beautifully and it's so freaking high coverage but also like easy to adapt to your makeup looks and i feel like that is something in like the clean beauty world with concealers specifically that i have found i have a lot of amazing concealers that i love i have actually a concealer video so i'll, I'll link that down below but i have found that like sometimes you just don't get the coverage you need when it's in the clean beauty world there are a few like the cover of x power play concealer that are really good coverage and also are easy to adapt to your makeup routine and this is one of those like i'm literally blown away by this i'm a huge fan of all of these products the mascara is incredible like i am blown away i can't wait to get some more products and test out more like things from them because the few that i have tried really like rocked my whole world so if you're interested in me like exploring any more of the hint beauty products like leave them down below which ones that you want me to try out and test because they have a ton of products so i would love to know what you want to see reviews on and that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.